What's up, fellow road pig? Oh my god! Oh Jesus Christ! How's it going, guys? Dre here, and welcome back to another episode of Medieval Dynasty. Today, we're out once again, and as you can see, I'm already getting some rabbits in the bank. But yeah, today, I'm hoping to get a little further into the game. I'd like to actually start meeting some people, because we've been really focusing on survival. Uh, we got our vitals basically set up now. We're totally fine. So I want to go talk to some people today, see what we can learn about uh, our neighbors and whatnot, and maybe, just maybe, if we can get lucky, get a wife or something like that, because I know that's kind of what we have to focus on. I don't know how easy that's going to be, so we'll do our best, but uh, it is nighttime right now, so I guess we'll go in and uh, cook up this meat I just got, and um, yeah, call it a day, and tomorrow we'll start talking to some people. Oh, I actually got a new quest. Good morning, my neighbors. Complete some quests for neighbors. Spend a talent point in any talent tree. I guess I haven't done that yet. I've been kind of collecting my um, two talent points that I have, and hopefully that I can unlock the rest of these, but I don't think I can. So I probably should do survival knowledge. I get plus one skill points from survival activities. We'll increase that level. Strong as an oak, 10% more health. Um, we also got survival senses now. Sensing mushrooms, feathers, and herbs from inspector mode. Ooh, being that I have so many mushrooms right now, they're actually worth good money. I think I'm gonna get that. So the mode it's talking about is this. I never actually showed it. Wow, this is actually huge. Uh, I didn't realize, oh, that uses my stamina. Okay, cool. But yeah, I probably should have been using that mode more often. It's very easy to miss some of these things. And look at how much stuff is like simply around me right now. So I'm gonna pick up some of this. Uh, I have a quest to turn in right now at the main city that we started at. I think we'll start there by talking to some people and obviously turning in that quest. And look at that, I've already le leveled up survival just because I can so easily see these things now. My god, St. John's Wart is everywhere! Let's do survival knowledge, being that I'm going to be gathering a lot now. I mean, it's so easy to see it. I think this lady is probably a traitor. Nope, it's probably her, actually. Adina? Yeah, show me your wares. I have some herbs to sell you, because that was way too easy to get, so price is two. Being that I just picked up 80 in seconds, I mean, this is fantastic, and I also got a bunch of those broadleafs as well. They actually heal you, which is pretty great to have, so we'll have some of those in the inventory, but we definitely don't need that many. All right, somebody's got a quest over here. Is it this guy? Well, looks like this guy wants to challenge me in a woodcutting competition. Does he not know I'm Canadian? Let's do it. I admit that was fast. Here, you've earned it. Maybe we'll learn something from one another. Okay, we got a hundred coins. That was so easy. Ludgarda seems like a nice lady. Um, I want to tell you something beautiful lady. I was just going right into it. Um, or I could just ask her to go live with me as well. Um, let's just try it. Screw it. Sorry, but you're a little too young for me. Okay, well, I tried. Oh, I got one that doesn't know me well enough yet, but she's not married. Um, let's have a minute. Let's talk. Something about a noble that has amazing robes. That sounds interesting. Approval. No, god, ne negative two. No! And now she won't even talk to me. Well, I screwed up that one. I, I am never gonna get a lady. All right, this is my kind of lady, G Gertruda over here, staring at a tree near a wall. Um, let's not go for the beautiful lady. Let's, let's just talk for a little bit. Nice weather. You never say that. Let's ask how she's been. Oh, well, that worked out really well. Well, she doesn't have time for idle chat. It seems like after you say one thing, um, that's all you can do for the time being. So we'll have to remember Gertruda, though, because uh, she seems to actually like me. Well, I found Uni Ghost at least. What did Sambor say? He's a loner lurking through the woods, but he knows the game around here, and he believes that both Gustavia and Denica will have to face wolf attacks soon. Um, oh, I got fur hood and fur boots. Ah, oh, yes! All right, he wants me to make sure Denica is prepared. Go there and convince Dagobert to build palisades. Okay. All right, so being that we got to go all the way over to Denica, um, it's midday right now. I think I'll just wait it out here and sleep in the comfort of my bed tonight, and then tomorrow we'll take a trek over there and talk to all those people. Uh, so yeah, I guess for right now we'll just focus on gathering, maybe get some meat and whatnot, and uh, survive a bit. All right, well, good news. I was no noticing I wasn't finding mushrooms anymore, and I just realized we are out of spring and berries are no longer ripe. And look at how many I get per... Um, bushel now. So basically, I should be able to at least live off of the berries. That being said, this might be a great way to earn some money, too. I mean, I just picked up 64 berries. They're worth one each. Again, it adds up, though. Uh, I'm not really having too much of an issue with meat, as you can see. 
Oh, wow, my onions are done? Interesting. Okay, well, we're going to uh, eat good tonight, I guess. That also gives me seeds, which is fantastic. So now I can just switch this over. Oops, that's not the right thing. How do I change the seed? There we go. Back to onion seed, though, and... Oh, yeah, I have to plow the field with my hoe. Oh, I actually need manure now. So I guess if you once you use the uh, soil once, you actually need to resoil it with manure. So I got to figure out how to buy manure. I might be able to buy it from somebody over at the town. All right, but that's that should be fine. We, I mean, we did great today. We got a bunch of onions now, so I can turn that meat into actual good meals. So yeah, we'll make some meat with gravy right now, uh, just for our trek up ahead, so we can go to the new town. Okay, so let's go to sleep, and uh, yeah, today we're going to a whole new town. This is exciting. I'm gonna get some uh, water in me, and then we'll get on the trek and uh, see what we can find there. What's up, fellow road pig? Oh my God! Oh Jesus Christ! Oh, no, 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 don't you do this, don't you do this. Oh, Jesus. Please, please stop, stop. I, I was just saying hi to you. I didn't expect, I mean, pigs are sometimes dangerous, but Jesus. I expected bandits, not freaking road pigs that are trying to kill you. Of course my, ah, god damn it. Okay, this town is dangerous. This town is very dangerous. Please get your pigs off me. Where is everybody? Are you all dead by the pigs? Of course I stored all of that herb that heals me. Is there any around here? You can, they're all hiding inside. <laughs> I wonder why. There's like no herbs here. We are technically in the desert anyways. We're getting close to it, so... Yeah, I don't know how the hell I'm gonna get out of here. Because those pigs are freaking dangerous. Anyways, the guy's in here that I need to talk to. Dag! Dude, why do you live here? Alright, guy's already not liking me. Um, if you're Lord Anne's nephew, you can't be too bad after all. Is there any proof for that? Um, well, my mother told me he had a scar on his left cheek. And an awkward way to get on and off a horse's back. <laughs> what does that mean? Is that proof? Let's see. Good enough for now. So what do you want? I was sent to alert you that the wolves are gathering in the south east of your home. It's only a matter of time before they get curious or hungry. I should also mention pigs right out front of your place. They're 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 already curious and hungry. There hasn't been a wolf attack in many, many years. Too many people live here now. And the wolves are retreating into the mountains. It's very unlikely they will come here. But Samber said. All right, I'll take it more seriously, but I'm out of logs. Can you get me 40? 40 logs? That is a lot of work, Dagobert. And my wife will indulge you with the best our kitchen has to offer. You have my axe, really? You, you, you have my axe. Oh my god. I need to do 40? Jesus, with these pigs around? You know, Dag, this wouldn't be so difficult if you didn't live in the middle of nowhere. Like, I can't even get water here. All right, Dag, I got you some. Here's some of your logs. Thank you, I'll wait for the rest. I mean, I do have that meat with gravy. Does that heal? Oh, it's just it's just 25 food. There's there's, there's no water in, in meat with gravy? Damn it. Never mind, I found a berry patch. I can just live off of berries because they give me water. Fantastic, I just ate like 100 of them. Oh, this is... I love berry patches now. Before they poisoned me, now they saved me. This Dagobert asshole is a bold-faced liar, by the way. This is literally his house. Like, you can... Dude! You're you're making me do this. You got all the logs you freaking need. Well, I did it. I did it all in a day. And you shall not regret it. Talk to Matilda. All right, Matilda, you are this one over here. Okay, so I do actually get food. I was worried about that. You must nearly be starved after all that hard work. A hearty pottage. Oh, great. So, all 40 trees chopped, and I get a soup. Yay. Can I have the recipe? Well, it's a family secret. Shame on you. Nevertheless, <laughs> thanks you for the meal. Oh, they won't even give me the recipe, man. Well, I think I'm done with this town for the time being. They don't seem very welcoming. I gotta get through the forest of pig doom to get back to my place before it gets too dark out. And we're pretty much all the way across the map, so... Yeah, I'm so glad I came down here to chop trees all day. It was so fun. Oh god, is he there? Ah, oh, god, there! I, I freaking called it! Okay, I just gotta keep running. Oh god, the pig bosses are here. So I appreciate that, um, my meat with gravy gives me 25 food. The pottage I just got gives me 30.000000002 food. Because that point zero 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 two is important. Let's enjoy it at least. Well, Uni, I'm back, buddy. Ah, simple wooden palisade, I assume. Yes, and I think Dagobert is a man who is not afraid of wolves, indeed. Oh, we still gotta go here. This is this is the longest side quest ever. Wait for further events. 
Oh, I wonder if the wolves are gonna attack, guys. <laughs> All right, I gotta go talk to my favorite awkward woman, Gertruda, over here. I mean, me and her, I don't know. <laughs> rating of 60%, that turnaround was great. Um, let's just say nice weather. I think that's what I said last time. Ooh, 70%. I, I, I feel like that's a pass. Let's try it. What? You never told me you're married. I guess I didn't ask, though. Damn it. All that work for nothing. Wait, can, can I kill her husband? Okay, that's definitely not her husband, right? I really appreciate it that Inga's giving me the dance of her people. It's, uh, it's going well. She's also not interested in talking to me. Okay, well, this is creepy. I guess I'm gonna go home. You know, fl flirting's been a complete failure for me. I finally got someone I can flirt with. Um, well, obviously, I don't want to say marry me because we have a chance of zero, but Inga, Inga in the other village is actually working out. Now, the big question is, what do I choose? Let's just say I like you a lot. I don't think saying shapely figure is going to go around well. I mean, we're good friends, right? Um, yeah. Sure. I don't know if that worked out or not. Let's ask for gossips. They usually like that. Ah, there we go. 65%. All right. We got to keep talking to her. Okay. We have no time for elder chat. So you can only do like one a day, but it's the chicken lady that I tried to steal from at the start of this. Well, fall is upon us and um, there's new mushrooms to explore. Actually, multiples of mushrooms. Now, I don't know if this is a game update or not. I have stopped playing for a little bit because it's a little bit of a grind now. Trying to get a lady to love me in this game is not easy at all. But yeah, we got a bunch of different mushrooms. Uh, but yeah, good news. Well, first of all, as I was trying to level up my technology, I built my second home now in preparation for, you know, building a dynasty. I mean, at least I'm getting ahead. But not only that, I was cooking last night and they said the workshop is unlocked. Yeah, so we need eight logs and we can build a workshop so we can see what that's all about. So that sounds exciting. Another thing I'm gonna have to worry about soon is I need to get ready for winter. Currently, um, I believe this kind of means I'm in a comfortable zone right now, but when winter comes and turns blue, I basically need to have winter gear, which kind of makes sense. We currently, uh, well, we don't have a coat. We have linen clothing, basically. So I might go see if I can trade for some winter gear today, but I want to get this workshop built first to see how that works. Okay, let's finish up the workshop and see what this is all about. So we got a crafting thing now, wooden tools, stone tools. Um, oh, I can, okay, so I can make a stone pike now, a stack of 50 stone arrows, so those are new. I can also use stone skinning knife, stone hose. Is that compare, do, is that different from my ordinary one? Yeah, I can only make a wooden hose, so basically it's an upgraded tool list. There's also a free chest here. Okay, well that's better than nothing. And I do have a bunch of wooden tools here as well. Unfortunately, I need the technology to unlock the vast majority of these. Um, I guess shovel might be new. I actually don't know. Uh, but yeah, basically this is obviously just a place to make more tools. Well, it looks like Danica did actually put up its walls. Uh, coming over here looking for a tailor by any chance. Why is Danica always so dead? Uh, yeah, I have not been able to find where to buy clothing. Getting a little worried because as you can see, um, we're halfway through fall right now, but we do have a quest here as well, so I'm glad I came back. Well, this guy needs seeds. I have seeds at home. I don't have them here though, I don't think. Well, actually, I might have carrot seeds because I did, I did harvest my carrots. Well, he wants beetroot and onion seeds, so I guess I'm not gonna be able to do that, but uh, the more quests we can do, the more rep we get, so obviously it makes sense to get it done. Uh, okay, so we'll have to do that later. Oh, and she does actually have some clothing here, so... Unfortunately, it's a lot of the things I already have. Actually, you know what? Let's let's get some hose. We don't actually have anything on our legs. We're technically naked right now. That's only 300, so it makes sense to definitely buy that. We'll equip that. Now, does the tunic... Yeah, the tunic goes the same as the shirt, so the only thing I need is gloves, technically, and then I'm I'm fully loaded, at least. Does she have any gloves? I don't think she did. She just had boots. So I think we'll wait for the rest. That at least helps me a little bit. At least I have something on my legs now. Um, but yeah, I'm still gonna have to get some some winter clothes of some sort. Let's go see the people over the mountain. I wanna grab all the quests I can because the higher I get my reputation, the better. The hell was that? Oh my god. The fox is laughing at me. That's actually what foxes sound like, so I appreciate that. Um, I'm not gonna kill an adorable fox. I, I just can't. I'm sorry. All right, people of the mountain. I mean, you guys got a beautiful city here, literally up in the mountains. How many people are here? Do we got any quests? We do have some quests. Sick. Well, great. This is another 18-year-old that wants to play adult. 
I mean, I'm not, not trying to judge or anything, but you might just want to be an adult at this point. Oh, it's just another stone axe? That's something I might be able to... Actually, you know what? I'll just give you mine. Uh, just because mine's almost actually broken. So it looks like quests can, um, can stack. Jesus, where did you come from, sir? <laughs> that scared the hell out of me. But that's great. That's plus five dynasty rep right there. Imagine getting dynasty rep for giving a child a stone axe. That's just, I mean, it's not even a child though. It's an 18 year old who wants to play <laughs> adult. I'm so confused. <laughs> Is there any other cities here? There's one way up here. I think I should start heading home though. It's midday right now and it's looking pretty dreary out. And I don't want to get stuck out here in the middle of the night. You know what, screw it. Let's head up to this other city. I can make a couple torches, so I should be okay to go through it tonight. That being said, it's raining out right now. I don't know if that affects torches. Hopefully it doesn't. All right, well, here they are. This is a cute little village. I like this. They're literally on a mountaintop. They got pigs as well. All right, so this lady wants some money, I think. She can't pay her taxes. Um, how much do I need to give you? Oh my god, these people, everybody, I'm in your debt. How much coin? 62, oh, that's nothing, man. I can, I can go pick up a couple sticks for that. There you go, no problem. Ah, oh, can we get more quests like that? I'm, 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 I'm all about giving money away. Okay, all I have to do is successfully flirt once, guys. I forgot about the main chapter quest. I get 50 dynasty reputation, and Inga here is my only chance. Now, I've tried a few times and I've failed, and I've edited those things out, because it's embarrassing, damn it. But, please, just, just please. Okay, there's a new one here. I made your dedication for work. You deserve the highest praise for it. That is such a nice thing to say. Three is definitely not it. Come on, two, it's gotta be it. Yes! I got five affection from the chicken lady. Thank you. Thank you, chicken lady. I can keep going with her, too. Oh, this this could get interesting. How have you been, lady? I hope you're doing well. If you ever need anything, just ask me. I'll be glad to help, especially since it's you. Is that too much? Is it, is that too much for the chicken lady? Oh, no, she loves it. Okay, can I, can, can I just keep going? Oh, so now she's interested in me. I, I can talk more than once a day. Okay, affection is at 25%. I have some bad choices now, so I wonder if I should stop. You know, stop while I'm ahead. Um, because I don't think either of these are gonna be good. You know what? Let's just try it. Screw it. No, see? I knew it. I knew it! And now she's weirded out by me. Great. Okay, well, we- we hit it good. Affection is now at 20%. Inga is that much closer to loving me, the chicken lady. And I think on that, guys, we're gonna wrap up this one here. I mean, we did a lot today. We built a workshop. Uh, we built a second home. We now have the reputation needed to get somebody in here because most people want 50. So I gotta pick and choose who I want to join my colony. And we're getting closer with the chicken lady as well to be my wife. So yeah, I gotta say I'm really excited for the next episode. We can finally get into building a colony. We might get Inga. It's gonna be winter, so that's gonna be interesting. And uh, yeah, we're finally building a little bit of a settlement here. So I hope you guys are enjoying this. Thank you so much for all your support. Thanks for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one.